detour index. Detour index also uh, we can be calculate through this type of topological map. But here the matrix method is just like the symbol index method but the base point method or uh, the uh, main method uh, in which the base point method we call it is as main method uh, to calculate the detour index in it we uh, have to calculate the distance between the vertexes. To calculate the detour index, we have to follow the two method. Number one is base point method and number two is matrix method. In case of base point method, we have to calculate the actual distance and straight line distance from the original map or the road network map because we know that detour index equals to actual distance by straight distance into 100. Therefore, we have to calculate the actual distance from the map by using rotameter like vertex 1 to vertex 1, vertex 2, the distance of this portion is the actual distance and therefore we have to calculate the straight line distance like from vertex 1 to vertex 2 that is the straight line distance like that. And then we have to plot these two type of distance against the vertex number to calculate the detour index using the matrix like v1, v2, v3, v4 and this actually this is the place and when we uh, calculate the detour index in case of matrix method when we calculate the uh, actual distance and straight line distance using the matrix method we have to write here the total scope based on the total score we have to calculate the detour index using this formula and in this case the actual distance this is the table and same way we have to prepare another matrix table or matrix for straight line distance and based on these two total score or the actual distance and straight line distance we have to calculate the detour index value and how we plot the detour index value in case of base point method and matrix method to prepare the map now i am going into detail to prepare the map like this is the map of bakura district this is the outer boundary and when we plot the detour index value calculating by the base point method we have to plot that detour index value in the particular place or in the vertex. Then we have to prepare the map using the application of isoline. How we will calculate the isoline? I already told you that the isoline calculated by highest value by lowest value into number of isoline to be drawn. In case of detour index, highest value means the highest detour index value difference or minus lowest detour index value by number of isoline and using this formula we have to calculate 3 or 4 or 5 number of isoline here using this type of formula we calculate 3 isoline that is 100 125 and 150 the detour index value already plotted in the map and therefore we have to draw the isoline based on that score. Number 100 isoline is here, 125 is here, again another 100 is here and another 100 is here, 125 line is here and this is the 
150. From this type of map, we have to prepare a particular index. Normally, the index drawn in this portion. In index, we have to mention three types of important thing that is the accessibility or the symbol and the detour index value. In case of the detour index value, here we found 100, 125 and 150. Therefore, a total number of four zones are found in the accessibility. That is the highest zone of accessibility because we know that less the value, more the accessibility in case of detour index. Therefore, when we found the most accessible area, this is the most accessible area in the given map because here the value is below 100. And when we comes to the accessibility of that particular, this is the highest accessibility or high accessible area followed by medium accessibility. Medium accessibility score ranges from 100 to 125 then low accessibility which ranges from 125 to 150 and very low accessibility that is above 150 and here this is the format how we write this type of index in the map and based on this base point method the detour index map has been prepared to find out the accessibility zones of particular road network area and in case of matrix method I already told you that how the matrix method the detour index uh, is calculated using this type of formula but the difference is here we have to calculate the actual distance and straight distance based on the two separate matrix and then we have to uh, using the total score of that actual distance and straight line distance and using the detour index formula we have to calculate the detour index value and then again we have to plot it on the map or the vertex and then we have to draw the isoline uh, after calculating how many isoline we have to draw and uh, what are the values of that isoline and again here in case of uh, this type of map based on the matrix method we found three types of isoline that is 130, 150 and 170 drawn in the map and prepared the detour index map for final output and uh, this is just like the same map, uh, map of base point method this is D2 index to find out the accessibility and now we have to know how this type of map is helpful to understand the road network of any particular area. I already told you that in case of connectivity the alpha, beta, gamma index value signifies what kind of accessibility or what uh, types of circuit or road network present in the given area or given map. But in case of direct connectivity matrix, we have to write the direct connectivity score in the map and prepare the final map. We have to interpret the map. Therefore, we have to know how the interpretation of that particular map is to be drawn. And now we have to know how it could be interpreted. The interpretation of that particular map is high score of direct connectivity matrix, lower score of that direct connectivity matrix and how many number of zones have been found in the given network. This is also just like the map of accessibility and here we have to draw the index and how many number of isoline zones and their value and the connectivity here the symbol and here the direct connectivity index value. And then we have to interpret what are the major portion or, or what are the vertex following in what type of connectivity scope that is high, medium or low portion. And then when we go to the uh, symbol index, then we have to interpret the map like we have to first of all we have to find out the highest symbol index then lowest symbol index and that another value ranges and therefore we have to interpret using the isoline value like how many number of isoline has been drawn and what are the values of these isoline and then come to the number of zones 
of accessibility and that is the symbol index accessibility zone and here in case of this map of Bankura district symbol index map was prepared to find out the accessibility zones and here the three ISO line are drawn 35, 45 and 55 and we know that less the symbol index score signifies more the accessibility therefore we have to told that that 35 isoline value or the vertex including this 35 isoline value has the most accessible area or the highest accessible area in the given network whereas beyond 55 vertex or the score has the lowest accessibility zone and now if we going into detail uh, about the map of detour index here we have to also mention the highest detour index value and the lowest detour index value and another value ranges and then we have to mention the value of isoline or how many isoline have been drawn in the map and there then we have to follow how many number of zones of accessibility found in what portion and the accessibility zone is highest or high medium low and very low found which portion and which vertex belongs to which accessible zone and it is very much important in case of the researcher in transport geography or to understand any particular network analysis uh, we have to know this type of measurement of connectivity and accessibility uh, hope you will understand very well thank you very much and happy learning